Introduction to Graphic Design Welcome to my YouTube channel, this is David Samuel on this video tutorial and for this particular tutorial we will be discussing what is graphic design what do we mean when we say graphic design so I want you to follow me carefully so and if this is your first time of visiting my YouTube channel I would like you to subscribe to this channel like this video, share with your friends and drop a comment in the comment section telling me what you feel or what you think about this video and very necessary turn on your notification bell to get notification whenever I post new videos like this so let's go introduction to graphic design so I made this thing very simple so even if you are a baby you'll be able to understand it so this is very very simple to understand so follow me let me take you on the right so definition first and the definition we have there is what is graphic design so many persons have been hearing including you hearing you all listening to me right now you have heard a long time ago graphic design graphic design graphic design but it will surprise you that only a few actually know what this graphic design really means some persons and it's even serious that some persons are evil into graphic design they don't if you ask them what is even graphic design, they don't know that is because they only studied it using practical means without going through the theoretical the theoretical means and we are going to be doing everything for you in this class so and okay let me define graphic design very simple and quickly so you understand graphic design is using visuals like images using visuals what you can see visuals what you can see like images text that is the write-up in case you are um, first coming across some of these concepts so test like write-ups and colors you know what colors are already to communicate so one thing you should know about graphic design is for communication graphic design is for communication the same way you use different languages to communicate the same way i'm using english to pass this information across to you right now it's the same way you use graphic design to pass or communicate so if you see any design the first thing you're seeing you're, all you're going to do is to read what is on it if you see any design the first thing you're going to do is to read what's on it that means that design is communicating with you i don't know if you understand so always have it in mind that graphic design is a method of communication and but this type of communication is the one we do with images text and colors so and as you can see on the screen is to communicate ideas and messages in a visually attractive way example the same way i'm passing across this information with um, to you right now in a design are you seeing this slide the slide i'm using to present my thoughts or my ideas to you is also an example of design so practically you should know that i did this not because i cannot use test but i'm doing this just to make it stick to your head so this is graphic design and i'm passing this information using um a visually attractive way this is a visually attractive method of passing information graphic design so i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so whenever you think of graphic design you should know that it's um is used to communicate or to communicate ideas and messages in a visually attractive way the same way i'm doing right now so now let's proceed then purpose what is the purpose of graphic design is what is the pro is the purpose for graphic design just meant for just coming adding jam packing colors together um missing text together pairing fonts together and the rest of that no so follow me carefully let me explain i'll tell you the purpose of graphic design first of all communication i've explained communication just now and you already know what communication is helps share information or ideas effectively the same way i'm sharing these ideas or my thoughts with you visually is the same way or is what i mean by communication i'm communicating with you but in a visual way so that is the purpose the first purpose of design or graphic design is communication then emotion emotion aims to evoke feelings or reaction from the audience so for example those colors you are using those tests you are using you don't just use colors and tests in graphic design anyhow they stand for too many things they stand for different things the same way i cannot use black for something that talks of holiness i don't know if you understand if i'm designing anything that has to do with holiness i have no business using black that means that color is already triggering emotion if i use um the right color for the right design it helps triggers the er the emotions in that particular niche or in that particular field so design 
or graphic design aims to evoke emotions or reactions from the audience. So that is it. Then problem solving. It helps in problem solving. We, are using, we use graphic design to solve problems. Now, addressing challenges by presenting solutions visually. As, as I um, earlier mentioned, everything about graphic design is meant to be visual. The same way you solve problems physically, the same way you solve problems um, calculatively, if you are into the field or if you are studying any, any course related to calculation, the same way you solve problems on your paper and the rest is the same way you solve problems visually in graphic design. So graphic design is meant to communicate um, it's meant to communicate, evoke emotions, and solve problems. That is a recap of these things I've mentioned so far. So it helps solve problems and the rest. So let's go to the last um, thing here, importance of graphic design. Importance of graphic design. So number one, we have clear communication. Clear communication then makes complex ideas easy to understand. Let's assume I'm passing this information to you via test. It's going to be very bulky and so many persons might not understand but could not or cannot or will not want to ask i don't even understand and so many persons will understand but not as this clear like you will not understand the same way the same way you're understanding it right now so the importance of graphic design is to pass or communicate ideas or make complex messages simple and easy to understand so that is one of all the first importance of um, graphic design then branding create recognition and identify or identity for companies or products graphic design um, helps create recognition and identity for companies or products so the same way if you see um, purple all over in a design or if you see things that is the same way you can this branding that i'm talking about helps you, um this branding that i'm talking that i'm talking about currently is what makes you differentiate between a pampe design and a an ope design i don't know if you understand if you're not um in nigeria ope is a um is a micro finance licensed bank and also pampe is also um a micro finance licensed bank also so the same way you can um i think graphic design is what makes you identify or differentiate between a manchester jesse uh from and Arsenal Jesse. I don't know if you understand right now. So that is it. It helps in branding, and that branding helps us differentiate from different brands and products. Graphic design is what makes us differentiate, or is what helps us differentiate between an LTL, LTL SIM card and an MTN SIM card. I don't know if you understand. An MTN SIM card cannot be yellow, an MTN SIM card cannot be red or green. So I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So that is it. It helps in branding. Then user engagement grabs attention and keeps audience interested. The same way I'm sharing this information with you right now, it's not boring you because you see it's visually represented or presented. So this information and everything I'm reading out is visually presented. So it helps catch your attention and keeps you interested. So these are importances of graphic design. Then the last one is impactful message. Best message, memorable and impactful. I can as well send messages or use text to pass the same information. But the reason why I'm using this slide to pass this information is because I want it to stick to your brain. I want you to remember everything I'm teaching right now and I want it to be um, memorable and impactful. So that is the essence. I'm passing this information across to you via this design presentation or slide as many might call it. So that is it. I've been able to cover a little part of graphic design for you to see and and i hope you have understood what we mean by the concept graphic design so i hope this video was helpful if this is your first time visiting my youtube channel i would like you to subscribe to this channel turn on your notification bell like this video share with your friends and drop your comment in the comment section thank you so much and see you in the next video